Hello guys and welcome back. This is what? No, no, no. That was right. Yeah, welcome back to another video. That's what it is. This is Ninja Gaming as always. And today we're going to be continuing our Florida Panthers be a GM mode. I know I've been uploading a lot of this series, but I love G uh, GM mode and uh, our team's doing really well. As you can see, we um, made the playoffs. We had over a 100 points. Or, sorry, exactly 100 points for the first time as uh, our GM in the fourth year of play here. We finished fifth in the NHL behind the Colorado Avalanche, Washington Capitals, Pittsburgh Penguins, and Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, in the first round here, we're going to be up against the big guns. Just kidding. Just Tampa Bay. We're just going to quickly low go see who they have um, on their team because I want to know how our team's matching up. So honestly, on paper, it looks like our team wins right there. Like already. So edit lines. Let's go. Um... Where do I go? Right here? Yeah, there we go. View opponents. So Jonathan Drew in 93 overall. What a beauty. Stamkos and Kucherov. So it's a pretty sick first line. Kucherov didn't grow at all. Uh, Adam Ernie, Braden Point, and Andre Palat. Oh, nice hair, man. Namastinikov. Namastinikov. Yeah. Only an 80 overall. Wow. Uh, Melker Carlson and Alex Kalorn. Then Ryan Callahan playing on the fourth line with Phil Pula and Leo Komarov, eh? On uh, defense, their defense is weak. They, We have their def defense. Honestly, we are a way, way better team. How are their goaltenders looking, though? Hey, look at who it is. Robin Lehner, our old goaltender. And oh, my, how embarrassing would it be if we lost to them? Malcolm Subban at 93 overall now. Oh, that was a nice voice crack. Our forward line is looking like this. Uh, we definitely have... No, they definitely. I think they might have a little bit more depth, but at the same time, I think we have a better team. I didn't mean to go special teams. On the defense, though, we win in every way with Hedman, Ekblad, Murray, Olsen, Dupre, and Corrado. All right, boys, let's jump into this series, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can come away with a big win in series number one versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's go. Let's see how we can do. Game number one. Come on, Florida. This is a big game. And I know we can do it. We finished first in our division. I know we beat Tampa Bay a few times in the year. And uh, I need a big game from you, Malcolm Subban. I need a big game from the offense and a huge game from the defense. So let's go. First period. Oh, that's <laughs> Dave Bolin, our fourth liner. Snipes one from the circle. And then Riley Smith gets a weak one from the corner, it looks like. All right. So uh, shots are even. I means Subban just outplayed um, uh, Laner. That is why we traded Robin Lehner for Valis Vesclo, blah, 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 and then we um, traded him for uh, Subban, of course, or something like that. All right, let's go. Second period. All right, Vincent Trocek and Nick Bukestad. I think the Florida Panthers are going to come away with a big win in game number one. We're out shooting them. Oh, Nikita Kucherov grabs one. That's a far off point. I'm hoping Subban was screened on that one. Uh, still up by three goals, though. I think it'll be okay. Ooh, another power play. We're giving them a lot of power plays. That's one way to lose to the Tampa Bay Lightning, though. They saw that Stammer up there, along with Druin and Kucherov. That would be a pretty good power play unit. But uh, they can't come back. 4-1 to one win. Who are the three stars of the game? Malcolm Subban, Riley Smith, and Dave Boland. What a guy. All right, so game number one is finished. It's a big win by the Florida Panthers. Simulate up to the next. I actually want to I want to check real quickly though. Who else made the playoffs here? Playoff tree. So Ottawa versus Toronto, Carolina, Columbus, Pittsburgh, and Washington. That'd be a good series. Nashville, Dallas, Colorado, St. Louis, Calgary, and Anaheim, and Edmonton and Chicago. Wow. Connor McDavid must be doing pretty good. I wonder if I can find him anywhere. Hold on, boys. I just want to see how. Uh, oh, right there. Are we? Connor McDavid had 72 points this year. Uh, he's a 94 overall, and he's 22. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then Taylor Hall led the team with 75. Oh, well, hopefully we don't uh, Hopefully we don't have to play them. Connor McDavid will probably tear us apart. Just kidding. We got Aaron Eckblad back there. All right, so, boys, game number two. Looking for the same thing of the offense. Same thing out of Malcolm Subban, too. And the defense needs to step it up a little bit. Too many shots got through to uh, Subban last game, but hopefully there were weak shots. First period, oh my god, Andre Palat, early goal, first shot of the game. But uh, Lawson Kroos ties it up just over a minute later, actually. 
Uh, 15 to 12 are the shots after one. Our defense is not doing it. So second period, the Florida Panthers, they need to step it up here. Especially the de the, the uh, defense. Aaron Eckblad, Victor Hedman, Ryan Murray. What are you guys doing in there? Let's go. Second period. All right, so nothing. 1-1 one, one after two. And hopefully, oh, Drew Shore right off the bat. Oh, and Alex Barkov gets one too. 3-1 pa uh, Panthers. Lawson Cruz, Kraus, oh my god, look at this. Three goals in four minutes in the third period, and <laughs> it propels the Florida Panthers to a 3-1 to one lead, and this, boys, is why defense wins championships and offense wins games. And when it, when, when it comes to the playoffs, you want the defense. It, more, it, it matters way more, and uh, oh, they had to switch to anti-ranta. And uh, they may want to see in fixing their goaltender issue. Robin Lanner, he's supposed to be good. We traded uh we traded Bobby Lou for him, but he never really lived up to the expectations he uh, had coming into Florida, so he's gone. Let's go. First period of game number three already. This is this series is moving by really quickly. We're gonna sweep him, eh? Uh, Alex Barkov, that's it boy. Alex Barkov, twelve to nine are the shots. Barkov got a nice uh, shot from the middle. Robin Laner starting again, of course, second period. Valtteri Filpula, the fourth line center for the Tampa Bay Lightning, but I don't think so. I don't think so, says the Florida Panthers. Right, boys? Y'all are going to come back in this third period. I hope. Answer back and I get a big win here. Nope, nothing yet. Oh, my. Come on, Florida. Step up. Where are you, Jonathan Huberto? Everyone. Oh, okay, so we're off to overtime for the first time in this uh, 2018, 2019, something like that, playoffs. Let's go. We gotta go power play in overtime. How how do you not capitalize on that? Okay. No, it's cool. It's cool. We're out shooting them by a lot. We're definitely out playing them right now. Oh, they're getting back though. Nope. Never mind. Look at this. No shots and Jonathan Huberto. I was just asking where you were earlier too. It's a two-one win. Robin Laner first star tonight, followed up by Malcolm Subban, and then Jonathan Huberto who had two points that night. What a guy. What a guy. All right, so we're up 3 Oh man. Portland Pirates finished first in the conference. How many? Oh, 47, 23, and 6. Did they finish first in the NHL? I mean, a NHL. In the AHL is what I meant to say. Oh, they did. Portland Pirates just finished first in the uh, American Hockey League with 100 points. Rochester also had that, but who cares? I don't know who they're going to be playing in round number one, but we'll see, I'm sure. Who, uh, how many games do they have left, though? Oh. Never mind. They're playing Hartford. I see. We're up 3 to nothing already, boys. 3 nothing against the Tampa Bay Lightning. I thought we were going to have to deal with uh, some offense, but I don't think Stamkos has scored yet, and if he has, it wasn't good enough. Let's go. First period of game number four. We have a chance to sweep this. We don't want this game. To, we don't want this series to go back to Florida, right, Panthers? Right? We don't want this. All right, let's go. First period, we're gonna we gotta get out to a good start, boys. And we do. Seth Griffith, our first line right wing, snipes one from the middle again. Same spot as last game. One nothing. They're out shooting us. Double out shooting us too. Got almost. Uh, I think I got over double the shots. But Malcolm Subban, what a goalie he has been for us. He just doesn't back down from any challenge. Let's go. Second period. All right, so one nothing through two periods, 22 shots for the Tampa Bay Lightning and 12 for the Panthers, but Malcolm Subban standing on his head. He does not want this game to go back to Florida, the series to go back to Florida. He wants to win it tonight in Tampa Bay. All right, Tampa Bay, they're in their dressing room right now. They're talking. They're like, well, how can we solve this guy? How can we beat this team? The answer is Tampa Bay. You can't. Let's go for the third period. A power play for the Tampa Bay Lightning. But Malcolm Subban and the def defense, 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 whatever, shuts them down. Florida can't capitalize on their power play. We're getting the shots now, boys. A power play for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Malcolm Subban, one nothing. Oh, my God. Come on, Florida, hold them off. I know they pulled their goaltender, but it's not going to do anything for them. And the three stars, Malcolm Subban with the first shutout of the playoffs for him, followed by Robin Lehner as the second star, and Seth Griffith. With the only goal of the game in a one to nothing game four shut out the sweep. Who are we going to be playing in the next round, though, is the question. 
I don't want to hold team meeting. We're doing way too good. Nice try, Tampa Bay. Thank you so much for coming out. But it was in vain because you guys suck. And uh, you deserve to be out of the playoffs. How are How is our AHL team doing? I think we uh, lost. Or did we win? Oh, no, we swept down there too. Perfect. Look at that. Not a single loss for either of the teams. So this would have been game five, six, seven. So it should be any day now. Um, and we're going to be fun. Oh, edit scouting assignment. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's go uh, look at the SHL defense for six weeks. Not that it matters. Oh, my God. Where is the next series? Here we go. Oh, boys. We're playing the Toronto Maple Leafs in round number two. Oh, this, this ought to be a good one. All right, let's go just check out the stats here. The playoff tree, Washington defeated Pittsburgh in seven. Carolina defeated Columbus in seven. St. Louis defeated Colorado in six. Nashville defeated Dallas in six. Chicago over Edmonton in seven. And Anaheim over Calgary in six. Uh, we got to go check the player stats now, see how our team did first, and then everyone in the um, playoffs did. So Barkov definitely averaged a point per game. He led our team. With four points in four games, Murray with three, Dupre with three, whoops, sorry about that, Kroos, Kroos with three, Perron, Trocek, Hubro all with three points, Riley Smith, Seth Griffith, Hedman, and Shore all had four, and, crap, I just dropped my phone, and below had one or less. The only players to not have a point were Aaron Ekblad, Frank Corrado, and our star from the last uh, last year's playoffs, David Booth. That, oh, whoops, I forgot to check everyone. That actually kind of surprises me. Um, I want to check the goaltenders out real quick too. Let's see, goaltenders, Malcolm Subban, <laughs> what a goals against average, a 4 0 three goals against, .977 save percentage, what a guy. Um, we're going the wrong way here. And in the entire league for uh, goaltenders here, Malcolm Subban better be leading that uh, with goals against average. In oh my god, Campbell, you suck. Four games. He's the only player to have less than a goal, uh, less than one goals against average, and the, I'm sure the only player to have this good of a save percentage as well. Oh, hold on. What's going on? <laughs> Scott Darling had nine whole shots against them. What a guy. Nine seven seven followed by nine five five. So Malcolm Subban definitely led that. Um, so now we're just gonna go over to all skaters. Um, I think I don't know what's going by here, so we're just gonna click on points. I know our team. Oh my God, Jonathan Taze. Although he also played three more games than our uh, next guy. I want to see how. Oh yeah, no, I didn't need to go this way. Um, I want to see how Steven Stamkos did. Let's see where. Oh, he didn't even get a single point, boys. He did not. Wow, a franchise center, 95 overall. A sniper playing on the first line could not solve Malcolm Subban. He could not solve our amazing defense. And boys, we're going to the next round. We're playing the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm just going to quickly check to see how their team is. Um, on paper, we're the better team. Or on that a little um, overall thing, we're the better team for sure. View opponents. So they've got James Van Riemsdyk, William Nylander, and Brendan Lepsik, followed by Mark Arcobello. Marner and Cattery playing on the left wing. Frederick Oche, Tyler Bozak, Kasperi Kapanen, and Levo Spalling and Winnick. Their defense looked like this. Morgan Riley, what a stud. Gardner, Harrington, Marinson, Nielsen, and Polak. And their goaltending, Jonathan Bernier, 88 overall, and James Reimer. We definitely have them be everywhere, boys. Except for, well, you know what? No, we do. Our first line's better. Our second line's better. Maybe their depth is a little bit better than ours, but... Um, what am I looking at? Why am I looking at that? I don't know. I meant to go to defense, but our defense, that's easily going to be able to contain William Nylander and, uh, and the group of Toronto Maple Leafs right there. Morgan Riley, he's an assistant captain, an alternate captain, whatever you want to call it. And anyway, boys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to see more BGM. Our Florida Panthers, your Florida Panthers, are going to the second round to face the Toronto Maple Leafs.